And the last part I'm going to talk about today, well, I guess who knows about downloading videos which one's which, but it's talking about how to manage your time. Because when you start working, all this time you have playing PlayStation, guitar, or whatever, it starts going away. Okay? Because you got your job to do, and you got to spend some time with your wife, and you got your kids out there, you want to meet your friends, so you got a lot of things going on. So what are you going to do? First off, anticipate when you're going to have more work. So if you're an accountant, you know, February, March, April, you're, you're going to be kind of busy. So maybe don't plan your vacations that time. Okay? If you are, you know that you have a lot of work to do on Friday, because that's done by the end of the week, don't play tennis Thursday night. You're retired Friday morning. Do it at a different time. Okay? So anticipate your workload and schedule it around that. Okay? Two, divide your workload into manageable parts. Okay, you guys have lots of projects to do for school. If I say, okay, I need a 15 page paper. Oh! I love seeing your face when I tell you that at the beginning of the semester. Okay? But you need to realize it's not a 15 page paper. You can break it up. Oh, well, there's three parts the history, the analysis, the recommendation. Oh, okay, so that's a little bit easier, three little things. Oh, and within the analysis, you can break that up. Oh, we can do a SWOT, a five forces, a key success factor. Hey, so you divide up those small parts makes it easier to accomplish. Okay, yeah, like cleaning your room. Oh, that's a lot. Like, oh, okay, I'm going to clean by my bed, I'm going to clean my closet, I'm going to clean my desk. You can divide it up, because then you get one part done and you feel like you've accomplished something. So it gets you to want to do more. Okay? Then, also, sometimes it's not write a daily to-do list. Okay, I'm not saying you can put everything down to like shower, shave, put clothes on, but look at the most important things you have to do that day. Okay, today, my most important thing, I had a meeting this morning, okay, then I had a meeting prep for lunch, and now I need to make these videos for you guys. Next, I have a training later I need to go to. So I put this on my list, did I do it, did I do it, did I do it? Because you're like, okay, I know I got everything done, but sometimes you forget. Like when you go to the grocery store and you forget to buy ice, you're like, oh, I'm going to make cutting. I forgot the ice. You should think of chocolate, you think of sugar, you think of lime. You have a list there, it makes it easier for you to remember to get more things done. Next, um, learn to delegate. Okay, when you're working, if you get those things you can pass on to people, it's okay to have people help you. Okay? You can ask your friend, hey, can you help me with this? I don't have time. Alright, hey, you know, this week I can't help you so much to show me a that, but next week I'll do it for us. Can we do something? Okay, at work, have your coworkers help you. You know, you can't get your the kitchen clean this week. See if you can change with your roommate to do it another time. Okay, something like that. Find a way to pass off, delegate your responsibilities so you have more time to focus on the more important things like studying or working or whatever. And finally, don't procrastinate. If you got something to do, do it. Because if you sit there and worry, oh, I got so much to do, oh, I got so much to do, oh, I got so much to do, oh, you spend all that time going, I don't know if I got so much to do. You don't get anything done. So it's best to sit down and just start working. Either you just write one page, hey, you got one page done, you're going to feel like you've got to accomplish something. Okay? So to help manage your time, quickies, one, anticipate your workload and plan around it. Two, divide up your tasks into smaller and manageable tasks. Three, write a daily to-do list. Four, learn how to delegate to people. And five, don't procrastinate. Get things done, like studying for your exam. Start now, and not in six weeks. Okay? So, good luck with your exams, guys.